Today, we uncover long-forgotten secrets buried within Adobe After Effects. Two free plugins allowing you to do stuff like this and this. Let's get right into the video. guys welcome back to another tutorial i hope you enjoy that dramatic intro today we're talking about two free plug today we're talking about two free plugins they're sort of like variations of the echo effect which is in after effects and we'll get into that once i explain a little bit more about it but you can create some really cool kind of smoke like ghosty effects and you can combine so many things in with this that you can't do with other plugins so quickly before this video starts, I just want to say tomorrow starts Media Monopoly Cyber Week sale. We're going to be giving you guys a bunch of discounts on all the things on my website, all the preset packs, all the asset packs. I'm also going to be releasing a bunch of new stuff for you guys. Anyways, let's get right back to the tutorial. We got a good one for you today. This is how I stumbled across this. I found this Reddit post here. Does anyone know what this effect is called or how to achieve it? And you have this really interesting kind of radial delay like effect where you have this person running and you have this really interesting kind of ghosting kind of echoey look coming from the footage so credit to attila 32 it says that this may be a combination of the fine edges effect within after effects as well as a combination of something like turbulent displays with the cc time blend effects and that's the plugin that we're going to be talking about this is something that used to exist within adobe after effects around 2012 but they ended up taking it out as you see here it says cc time blend was the predecessor to echo the fx version was way more powerful because of the hacky way it manipulated the render it wasn't compatible with multiprocessor rendering they chucked it out of after effects then they took multiprocessor out of after effects and time blend didn't return it's still hidden in the app though and can be activated by downloading these effect presets so you can actually go and download this for free this is psycore effects and if you take a look down here you're going to see this cc time blend plugins effects which you can download for mac or windows and it says creative cloud 2015 or later so anytime you see an effect within after effects or premiere that has cc after it it's because it stands for psycore effects after effects license psycore's plugins and here's some of the archives of stuff which you can mess around with go ahead and download this one once you've downloaded that just go ahead and unzip it of course you have your mac install folder and your windows install folder so you can double click in there Here's your folder. You just need to drag that into your plugins folder. They even have this README that shows you the exact location, user documents. If you have After Effects open, you can just right click down here in Windows, right click on the application, click properties, click open file location, scroll up, and you're not going to put it in plugins, but you're going to put it in presets. And as you see here, I've already dragged and copied and pasted in the folder. But if you were to open up the folder that you just downloaded from the Sidecore website, you just need to copy and paste or just drag this in your Adobe After Effects presets. All right, guys, so now that you have those presets installed, here we are within Adobe After Effects. What you're seeing in front of you is just a little bit of experimentation with some of these presets. So let's show you how to use them, and then I'm gonna show you some combinations of things you can do with them. I'm gonna go to my project bin up here in the top left. I'm gonna create a new composition here, and then I'll just cut out a bit of footage from this music video that I worked on. All right, so to set these presets up, you're gonna go over to your effects and presets bin over here on the right. You're gonna search for CC time. So you have CC time blend and CC time blend effect. Very similar names, but they serve different purposes. So with CC time blend, this is pretty much the predecessor for the echo effect. It's very similar to echo, but the main benefit of CC time blend, it actually processes a lot faster. Usually whenever you play some sort of echo or ghosting effect on your footage, you're not able to get a nice smooth RAM preview. So the process for this one feels more optimized. So if you're working on a setup that isn't as strong and you're trying to pull off some of these ghosting effects that we talked about on our channel before, this could be perfect for you again it has all of your transfer modes and it renders lightning fast as you see i'm just able to get in here get these really quick results without any buffering all right so i duplicated my footage let's go ahead and delete the cc time blend off of here because i want to talk about my favorite out of the two which is the cc time blend effects you can do so much with this because it's all about combining different things and getting different results so to set up cc time blend effects you'll see that you have this instance here in your effect controls. You can set it to either copy or paste. So the way you get this to work is you actually want to duplicate this on the clip that you're using it for. So you click Control D, or of course you can go up to edits and just click duplicate. 
So you want two versions of your CC time blend effects in there. You're going to set the bottom one to copy. You're going to set the top one to paste. Now what you can do is you can place any effects that you guys may have, any plugins, any presets in between these two plugins in your effect controls, and you're going to get a wide range of different crazy results. That's what I really love about this. The whole name of the game for this plugin is all about experimentation and mixing and matching different things. So to give you an example of this, let's just look up a little optics effects, some optics compensation and we're gonna go and drag this in between these two plugins and our effect controls because this is using your cached frames and it's a very kind of complex process with how these two coincide what I'm gonna do while we set this up is I'm just going to hide the little FX button so we're gonna deactivate it just click this FX so that this doesn't interfere we can see everything clear as day now I'm gonna select my optics compensation and I'm gonna set it up however I'd like so let's click reverse lens distortion and let's start cranking up this field of view value. So we're just going to extend the lens kind of towards our face here. You guys can keyframe any of this. Maybe you want it to start normal and then kind of bend out like that. So you can keyframe it, move a bit, then you can bend it out. You have limitless options for what you can do with it. So we have a simple little animation here, just goes into this bent optics. Now let's turn back our CC time blend effects on and you're gonna get some crazy looking results here. As you can see, you press play, you're getting the optics compensation pattern, but you're getting it in that sort of echo blend. So you're able to combine with the echo effect and any other plugins that you have in a very unique way that you can't do without this CC time blend plugin. You can change around your accumulation value for how intense you want this to be. Do you want it to be kind of you want it to really just be a tunnel of different frame. You want it to be more subtle around your subject, but you're still getting that optics compensation like we were talking about. Of course, you have all of the different transfer modes for the effects. So you can change these transfer modes and you're going to get different looks for each. I put it on darken and I put up the accumulation. You can see some of the crazy looking results that we're able to get. So that was just your optics compensation. So if we want to change something up here, because we're using those cache frames that I mentioned earlier, if I go and delete the optics compensation, compensation, you're just going to see it kind of go haywire. It's still reacting to those cache frames. It's not really sure what to do here. So what I usually like to do is go up to edit, purge your image cache, your memory, whatever it is, just to get, like I said, that clean slate. So let's do this one more time. We're going to set the top one to paste, keep the bottom one on copy. Now let's try using a little plugin that we've talked about recently, the Displacer Pro plugin, which is pretty much a improved version of displacement mapping. If you're interested in this plugin, free download link will be down below. So again, what we're going to do, we're going to click this little FX button to hide the time blend so we can see everything clear as day. Now we can go ahead and just make our little glitch effects. So let's do the same thing. Maybe let's go ahead and just keyframe a bunch of these and see what we can do. And then I'm also going to turn on this chromatic aberration because I always love how that looks. All right. So because we created a keyframe, it starts normal and it's going to slowly start to glitch out in that fashion. Now let's do the same exact thing. Let's turn on our CC time blend. And I was still getting some of those optic compensation artifacts. So I just went to edit purge and I purged my image cache memory. Let's get some RAM previews here to build that cache back up. And as you see, you get this crazy kind of stretching glitch going on here. So let's change around some of these values so that we can see this a bit clear. As you see, if I change your val if I change my value, here's ultimately what's going on. Here's what it looks like with the darkened blending mode. You're able to get some extremely unique looks. And that's just the beginning. You guys could also mess around with the blending modes. Since I have a duplication under here, say I didn't, I could control D on this bottom one. Let's rename this to original. On original layer, we'll just delete everything off of there, everything from the effect controls. And on this top layer, I'll rename this to effects. This is everything with our time blend. We can go to our blending mode right here, this little drop down menu, and you can change this to anything you want. Overlay, add, lighten, experimenting and getting different results. You can mix and match if you'd like as well. Plop a little optics compensation in there, reverse it and push it up. And now you're getting everything kind of projected towards the screen in this crazy echoing way. It's very much a freestyle way of editing things in. See, this kind of looks like it's projected all at the screen, all at the face. You get that RGB kind of stretching in there. And I also have this kind of rippling um, effect going on here. This is trying to create that. This is trying to replicate that radio look that we had in the beginning example in this Reddit post. This is the exact same thing. I just I dropped a little bit of tint on there. And they also use line animation, which is creating that specific kind of pop out look. So let's go through one more time and we're going to create that look from the Reddit post and we're going to do it completely from scratch. So starting off again, we're going to go to our, we're going to use CC time blend effects. 
and we're going to click Control D to duplicate it. Bottom one is copy, top one is set to paste. And in the middle of here, let's start working on the look. Let's first start off with a find edges stylized plugin effect. Place that in between the two in your effect controls. And it's very colorful. We don't want it to be, we want it to be more black and white. So let's look up a tint effect as well. And again, turn off your time blend effects so that you can see this properly. So tint, that's making it black and white, fine edges. Let's try and just mess with these settings until we get something that looks okay. So I think that looks pretty good for a nice black and white edge defining look. And if you want it, again, to have that kind of wispy smoke-like aspect to it, you can place turbulent displace on there and you can keyframe that. So here's what that looks like, the little animation that we've created. And then let's turn on our CC time blend effects. It's going a little bit too crazy. And again, if you're having any of these weird artifact errors, it's always a good idea to go to edit and I'm just gonna purge my cached memory. Now I'm just gonna press my space bar. I'm gonna lower my accumulation here at the top so that I'm not getting an overload of all this going on. So if you lower that accumulation, now you kind of just have a slight blend of what's going on here. And if you want, you can bump that up. And the turbulent displaces what's creating all this. So if I was to turn that off, that would just kind of be over top of it. You can scale the layer up. So if you just click S on your keyboard and then crank up your scale, you can create a little bit of separation there. And there you go. I have my little, my little radial line edge clone here. And I can literally just go in here, experiment, do whatever I want with this. Maybe I'll add a flicker onto there. I can apply any glitch plugins on here and really make this go crazy. As you see, it kind of looks like some 3D projection effects popping up. Maybe you don't want this black and white going into the tint effect and changing up the color of that white and be any color you want it to be. So just a look into what you can do with these hidden plugins, these hidden presets. I think it's really cool being able to use them on the new version and having access to new ways to create things visually and mix and match them with all the things we've been talking about on this channel is a really great thing to get your hands on. It's a great tool. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment below what you want to see next. If you want to see a combination video covering stuff like this, cool things I find, I can do that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.